I feel like this warrants an apology. This is going to be a very long video, just as a heads up. There's so much cool stuff though in this weekly and we're not going to be able to revisit. There's just not going to be enough time between the wacky weekly and the unicorn update video. So we're just going to throw it all together. I'm very excited for it though. This is going to be a super fun video. There's so many different archetypes that you don't even expect going into the weekly, but they all work so well and it's so much fun. So I'm, I'm super excited for it. I hope you all enjoy as much as I did making it. Let's jump right in. I really don't want to run Frilled Dragon if we can do literally anything to avoid it. <laughs> so we're going to try not to. Flooded packages whenever the male homies get access to your, your stuff. That's tough. There's no way we're winning that position wise. I hate you. Okay. We just got a whole bunch of two fours now. <laughs> Apparently it's good enough. Forget it. Dr. Gonzo, you're gonna have to do better than that. Alright, so. I think we do this, we get a level. Tropical fish is kind of thick, TBH. I think we're gonna do this. I mean, tree kangaroo, I get is very good, but I kind of like this better. Now we're looking for duplicates. Not gonna cut it. Alright, that's fine. The cracked egg is the next level Barg has counter. It lost, but Lexi the Pocket Monkey. <laughs> the heck is that? And then we go here. We get a level up prepared for a tier 4 coming in hot. If that was a, t a level 2 cracked egg, we would have been in trouble. But we're good. Kangaroo OP. It's so weird. Kangaroo is incredibly strong, but only for like, you know, until it just falls off super hard at like tier 5 ish. I don't know what it is. It's just every time it seems to do that. I think we run it like this. I mean, I'll high key throw on a swan. Get some sausage up here. Any early sausage on a unit you know you're going to keep for a bit pays off very well. Smack them up. Keep going. Keep getting them. Oh, baby. Flooded packages are OP. I think we do this, this. We don't really need the bar guest here. We still don't really need the bar guest here. Um, we could level right now and just get one extra health on each of these guys. I don't think we're gonna need that though. I like the attack here more than the sausage. We got some ginormous units right now, low key. And also the sausage protects them from Barghast, which is kind of nice. You just put sausage on your big units. The turkey moose. I mean, turkey's all right. We go turkey, we could run an easter egg on somebody. No reason to roll, we're already out of money. Save him for next turn. Looking good. Turkey easter egg, kinda good. Low key, pretty solid. 
Okay, so, um, I mean, I'd like to run a crow, but since we already have, like, we're on t we're halfway to tier five. I don't think it's worth running right now. Uh, let's keep looking. That's tough. I think we do it. I could see us keeping a cow. Straight up. Alright, our team is immune to Bargas now. That's good. Is this the greatest team ever invented? Genuine question. Asking for a friend. Beautiful. Alright, and now we're just kind of cooking up some cows, I think. Get this guy absolutely sauced up. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I want both of these, but we're gonna obviously running a cat when we have this kind of cow synergy. So let's go... What are we getting rid of? Probably tropical fish. I can see arguments for either, though. And I'm gonna keep this cow. Because it's just guaranteed cat triggers next turn for three gold. Instead of having to buy two of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe we're in an Eevee cake? Offset the cow scaling? We kind of need more cats, though. You know what I'm saying? Looking good. And this is a very resilient team to, like, disrupt. This is this team is very resilient to disrupt, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't know why that came out so weird. And the reason I'm putting these on the cat right now is because once the cow is level 3, we're probably gonna have to get rid of him. I don't wanna like full send and then be like, yeah, because this guy actually sucks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what are we going for here? Could run a Manta Ditch Barghest. He's also giving us a free reroll. We wouldn't get a whole lot from it. Alright, set up a crow for next turn. Get the cat level 2, maybe find another cow. We should really have the cat in front. I don't know why the cow is still up there. I guess we haven't gotten punished yet, so I haven't realized. Are we just gonna, like, win right now? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm, what are we looking for here? We go Sea Serpent and try to find a... What's his name? Leipnir. There is a Sleipnir. Okay, so... I think we ditched the Barghest. Actually, do it like that. We'll get up near next turn. See who we fight against. Well, I don't think we're gonna finish this round. <laughs> Maybe we will. Is this guy big enough? No. <laughs> Dang, the cat cow combo is too strong. We didn't even do the sleep near sea serpent thing. It's just too quick. It's a straight up speed run out here. <laughs> Look at this scoreline. We won in 11 turns. That might be one of the fastest wins I've ever had. We really out here running a double cone snail. 
into a pen gobble. This feels like a bad start. <laughs> this feels like it's not gonna end well. And it didn't. Crazy. Who would have thought? We got the cone snail army going here. This is just simply not good. If we can get a solid level up though, we might be able to salvage this. We need something good though. Um, terrible? I think we ditched the end gobble for a swan at this point. I mean, high key, <laughs> we do have quite a few opportunities here to get something going. And then, we do this. I'm not really looking to keep the Nightcrawler around. Get a level for next turn. This is a Cone Snail kind of game, apparently. He's got the 8-4 in the back. Alright, give me a good something. Deer is perfectly fine, I'll take it. Is there a little sausage on you? Take another level. We going hippo? We do this. It may seem a little crazy, but I think it might be good. We get more gold this way. And then we can actually set up for, you know, a solid next turn. Oh yeah, dude, this is easy mode. Alright, we're pulling it together. We're at three hearts. Not a bad place to be. Anything good? Anything we're looking for here? Really? If we can get a swan, I'll take it. That's pretty good. If I sell you, we get a free chocolate on tier 3. That's amazing. Not free. We get a chocolate on tier 3. He's only got one. <laughs> We're saved. <laughs> Alright. Level me. Going zebra? Or are we going turkey? If we go turkey, we kinda have to commit to the, the summons. Kinda like this better. It's huge. get the level up next turn. This is not going to end very well. We get the draw though. That's not terrible. Better than I thought we were going to do. I'll tell you that much. I will use chocolate here. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Flashlight. Eat me cake. Could run a bison. Not that good though. Bison scaling just doesn't hold up anymore. Kinda sad, but it's true. Um, let's see. I don't like it. Bus would be going hard right now, just saying. If, or level 2 bus is what I meant, <laughs> not just normal bus. Because we have normal bus and it did not go hard. Oh, 
Level you. Cool. We get the man to next turn. Let's see what we can do here. It's pretty solid. Do we have depends how many slimes this guy's gonna summon? You get a draw. I think we run a Leviathan here. Probably ditch the swan at this point. Leviathan Manta is a solid combo. Sure, what we want yet. That was pretty good. Okay. Go like this. We got plenty of runway to, to cook up here. Make something happen. Looking good. Looking great, actually. Alright. Get the cow in here. Let's get the crow in here. I think we ditch the kangaroo now. No, I think we're looking for a cat more than a Sleipnir right now. Cat? Cat me? No cat. Oh me. Zebra. I mean, we're actually next turn gonna get rid of the kangaroo because now our leviathan fish are gonna be stronger <laughs> than the kangaroo once we get him level three. I'm assuming we are getting him level three, but I guess we don't know for sure. And we're good. That'll be five wins in the books. Alright, yeah, we're getting level three. Get rid of you. Do a little buy sell here. Uh, still no cats, unfortunately. gonna keep rolling here if we can get a cat with a eat me cake that would be huge if not it's okay see the perks of the cat here is that you can use the eat me cake even though he only has two available health it kind of works in like a weird way perfect like, normally I wouldn't be able to use the eat me cake if he only had one health, but the cat, like, finagles with it kind of weird. I don't know, it'll make more sense when we do it. <laughs> um, let's go here. Get rid of the fish so that we can keep buy selling here. Give you enough just for another eat me cake. Any cats out there? Hold the eat me cake for the cat. Not finding any cats out here. Maybe they don't exist anymore. I reckon that's possible. There's just no more cats. <laughs> 
Hey, I don't know, maybe. It's possible. Dude, I'm in love with this new Leviathan. It feels so good to play. Get you level three. There are the cats, finally. I think we're getting rid of the manta ray here. We can get a huge eat me cake combo going. Yeah, it normally would have taken away six health, but it only took away two, and I can still play it. Pretty good. Alright, so now we can bind the cats. And we can actually put Slape near up front for the flashlight, because it won't put man on itself with the changes. It'll still go on the sea serpent here. Pretty nice. So we'll hold here. Fantastic, we got the slide near back above zero health. <laughs> and there it is. That's how it's going. <laughs> and that's the basic gist of the combo here. That's the strat. Um, let's level the cat. Unfortunate hits there, for sure. Do we just buy a cow? It's kind of a tough call right here. Are we getting rid of the Leviathan? Probably. I think we have enough here. That we eat me cakes, then. I guess I don't have to sell a cow anymore, do we? Alright. I mean, yeah, this is the comp. I think this is going to be pretty powerful. <laughs> I reckon it's pretty strong. <laughs> and now we just kind of scale with the cat. Just, you know, the typical cat scaling. We could run a level up on a slave near too. I guess we might as well here, right? And throwing a swan just for some stats or some gold next turn, if there is a next turn, which there probably won't be. Need two more attack to one shot 50 50s. <laughs> it's so satisfying, it really is. <laughs> When this unassuming 1919 just one shots three guys. And it's the highest health guys too. So you're guaranteed to hit some bangers there. Well, that's the team. That's pretty solid. I like it. I think while the Slipe New Sea Serpent was very powerful, undoubtedly, I think the true star of the show was that Leviathan. Is something about the Leviathan is just insanely good. It's you get level ups every turn into tier sixes. You get big units and you get scaling and economy. The the quadruple threat. Oh. We 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 can't sleep on the slave near. Slave near. We can't sleep on the Leviathan. It's too good. If you're enjoying the video right now, the best way to let me know is drop a sub if you haven't already. Drop a like on the video. Leave a comment if you just wanna hang out. I, I'm guarantee I will respond. I try my best to. Maybe not immediately, but I'll get there. There's a lot of new, fun, cool Super Auto Pets coming on this channel. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, if you enjoy anything Super Auto Pets, come hang out. I promise you'll enjoy it. So starting with a Barghest. I hate both of these, so I think we're just going to stat up the Barghest a little bit. So one of the things that I want to try working on here is the 
the vampire bat Barghest. And considering we have Barghest, holy Christmas. Okay. Oh, we actually should have ran... Yeah, we should have ran the Otter first. Have slightly better odds of hitting the, the Barghest that's already statted. But that's fine, we're getting a, a win here. But like I was saying, so we're trying to get a Vampire Bat Barghest build going. Barghest is the only way to apply ailments in this weekly. So it's turning into kind of a weird... <laughs> if everybody has food, then your entire comp is not useful at all. Like, it just doesn't work. Because Barghest can't overwrite food. That's the problem. Otherwise, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, it'd be okay. Definitely, like, the worst of the ailment pets. But we haven't upgraded Vampire Bats. So I feel like we gotta try it. So, I don't think we like any of these tier 3s. I'm just gonna throw in a new Yak. He gets 2 attack for every 1 health he takes out. And we are... I think we're good here. Yeah. He got a 111 bar guest. <laughs> what an insane person. Ooh, I love Hercules Beetle. Hercules Beetle is what I wish the fish was. I love that you can just have a level 1 base stat Hercules Beetle just kind of chilling on your team. And then late game you just level it to level 3. And all of the time it's been sitting there, you still get to use all of that value. It's so satisfying. Now that hurts. We definitely should have gotten the Yak further up, I think. But it's hard to say, right? Because you, you also kind of want the Kangaroo up there. I don't know. We're going to be getting a little, little stat up here. I think that's the key in this weekly in particular, is just stat up your homies at mid game. Early to mid game. That's how you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Because there are not a whole lot of decent scalers. Ooh, Hercules Beetle? We'll take the level up here because we have two Hercules Beetle to purchase. I don't want to sit here and be like doing literally nothing and having half the shot frozen the whole turn. That seems like a waste. And we are... I think we're good here. Oh baby, a triple. Mm -mm -mm. Broccoli's okay here. Really, unless you have like a moose or maybe a tropical fish, you you got a full send. Just like it's a constant investment trying to keep this friggin' yak alive. <laughs> Let me tell you, it takes a lot of money. Let's go here. Ooh, money monkey. Oh, <laughs> is is there something there? It takes a lot of monkey to keep him alive. We could speedrun killing the yak with an eat me cake. <laughs> Anyone want to do that? See how quickly he can destroy himself. And we lose. That's sad. It's unfortunate. But now we go a little bit of here. Go a little bit of monkey. See, Broccoli's a hard sell on tier 4, because you also have the likes of, like, literally anything else is better. Forage, for instance, you just don't lose attack. A pretty good setup. Oh, that is <laughs> a dirty breakpoint on a hippo, but we love it. Ooh, hello. Another monkey? I think we, we have a vampire bat too, fortunately. I want to run the monkey here. I also want to run vampire bat. How many... We got five Hercules beetle hits. So we can hit two on the vampire bat. Giving him six attack. That's going to have to do because we want to set up the monkey as well. And now the beauty of the, the bar guest here is you don't need to get him to level three. The Vampire Bat only has two triggers anyway. 
So I don't even think we freeze this guy. I think we're just cooking. This is the kind of thing where you'd want, like, if we could have the, what are they called? I have no idea what I was just thinking. <laughs> oh, the, the frog. If we could get some frogs in here, you know, it would work so well. You have a yak scaling the whole time, and then you just switch him over to a vampire bat. That would go insanely hard, but there's no frogs. This is what I mean. It's like, this is one of those weird weeklies where none of the builds are like particularly powerful but they're all kind of a similar power level which has actually turned out to make it a very fun weekly where you don't have any one comp that's just like painful to play against or too easy to get you know kind of satisfying all right we get the chocolate here that's huge the reason I didn't do the crow there, I think it's too expensive and we wouldn't have somebody to fill that slot. So I was hoping to roll into either a monkey or a vampire bat, in which case the chocolate just kind of worked. And we can put the monkey here and upgrade the vampire bat. Just kidding, we can't. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize the monkey could buff another monkey. Um, we still get the win here. So yeah, right now monkey is buffing monkey. I think we combine for the cow. We're gonna keep this homie alive. Ooh, hello. Alright, moose me. Please just hit the yak. We need to get a donut on this yak. You hate to see that. Ooh. Ooh, fantastic hits. Unfortunately, those stakes, though, are doing work on us. There's the donut we were looking for. I think we're just looking for tier ones. We're looking for chocolate. We'll set it up such that if we lose here, we can get maybe a level two moose. And we can just, like, hyper ramp the yak to 50-50. I think that's going to be our strongest power spike. Ooh, those breakpoints, though. That hurts. Alright, we got one turn. And we clutch it out. <laughs> Let's see. We're freezing tier 1s. Oh, okay, okay. Moose, if we can get a couple more tier 1s, Moose is gonna go insane. I think we throw in a stake here, and then just give it three rerolls. Come on. There's one. One more? There it is. One more. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So he should be pretty well close to 50, if not maxed out. Alright, 50-45 will take. Okay. Interesting. I had not considered the dodo behind the, the vampire pet. To be fair, I don't think it's a good play, because the dodo, like, you can't get enough attack scaling until later levels, at which point just put the vampire bat in there and scale its attack, you know what I'm saying? There's not enough early game attack scaling to make the dodo earliness actually pay off. But hey, we got it. We got the vampire bat bar cast. It worked pretty well, I would say. It also helped to get this moose on the yak. I'd I don't think we would have sauced as much if we hadn't found that one. But hey, it's a good combo. I like this one. It's a fun one. So we've got a few other build archetypes that we need to show off here. I think we're just going to do one like massive video of all the different strategies. Because uh, we got this weekly, we've got the wacky weekly too. We're working on the Unicorn Pack updates, so I think this is going to make the most sense. Just as far as getting everything covered. We won't have time to revisit, I guess is what I'm, try I'm trying to get at. Well, this is not going to end well for us. <laughs> Alright, this is good. We get two levels, we're at five hearts. Really couldn't ask for a better start than this. 
Let's see. Wasp with the tropical fish actually seems really good. And then we can roll here. I think we're keeping these two, at least for now. These two we're likely going to get rid of at some point. But if we can get the wasp level 2, we don't have to worry about scaling hardly at all. And then we just kind of cook. Ooh, he got an early slime, I'm jealous. Um, let's go here. Just because we can. Uh, I think we look for... No. I mean, what what are we looking for? Barghest? Maybe? I don't think that's enough to really warrant full sending it. The wasp is going to get one attack. That is a huge buff. <laughs> Very exciting. And we're good. Okay. The, the benefit here is the wasp is going to keep going. Keep cooking up really quick here. Um, we could... Tell you what, we do this, just because it's some extra attack while we can. There's the slime we're looking for. I think we get rid of the chinchilla. I would like to keep the duckling until we can get... Actually, we can put the duckling on the slime, now that I think about it. Right? Like, why not? And then we go here, roll me, so we're going for a level 3 chinchilla. Uh, I think we start doing this, like that, because we still want to get some stats on the slime, or some health at least. Once we get a turkey we might upgrade the attack a little bit more. Okay. That's fine. We take a draw there. That's not a problem. Oh, we get a little little wasp action. So now we don't have to worry about wasp health or attack at all, which is just a fantastic feeling. We go on a second slime. I would love to. But I don't think that's going to be the play right now. I think we need to keep our relative power level here. I would sell a chinchilla in another life. <laughs> we really don't have any slimes yet. I feel like we've had this boy forever. I guess now we're gonna get slimes. Yeah, so the wasp will get to 50 attack by itself. That is beautiful news. I think we roll. Yeah, like, I don't think we're going Tropical Fish full send. I think we just keep him, keep him how he's going right now. No, I kind of wish we did. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we did not find a turkey, but we do have a moose, which in some ways may be better than a turkey. If we can find a donut for this wasp, that's an easy 50-50. good. Still at four hearts. That's impressive. Don't care about the wasp. And are we just ditching this chinchilla? We're not finding anything. And of course we'd have the buy the bass buy sell. Maybe we ditch the bar guest. We get a level up. Unfortunately still no turkey. But we can do something like this. And then we can roll. That's pretty good, <laughs> I would reckon. Uh, we need to find the donut. I think that's gonna be our t our target here. How the heck do we not find a donut there? There's no point in rolling for it because the moose is gonna unfreeze. So we might as well buy something. Caramel does literally nothing for us. I'll just can food, I guess. It it sucks. It does, but so be it. I think we run it like this now. So that the monkey can scale up our slime a little bit. Because the wasp doesn't need it. It don't. <laughs> he just avoids the wasp. You gosh darn moose, what the heck. 
Okay. Yeah, dude, that guy has too many slimes. Even if we were able to knock him out. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I was gonna run a cow, but actually we don't need to. We need a donut. And we need a turkey. Um, sure. That's fine. Finding hardly anything, unfortunately. Well, <laughs> if we don't find a turkey, we're going to be in trouble, I'll tell you that much. Do we care about the 4-4, four, four, or do we want to get 2-2 two, two on our slime? I think we'd rather just get 2-2. Two, two. I don't think we have high hopes right now, until we get turkey. I think we just send it. And that's fine. We're not expecting to win these. That's why we need to get a donut and we need to get the turkey, which we got turkey. That's huge. There's another turkey. I think we ditched tropical fish. Moose, in theory, will give us more. Though then we can't freeze anything, so that's another concern, potentially. You know what? No, we, we do this. I want to get this wasp leveled. Whatever means necessary. Um, none of these are really going to do it for us. So let's just look for some tier 1s. And now we can throw you in the back here. You're only going to summon 2 right now, but that's fine. There's the donut that we can't freeze. I think the moose hates the wasp. They have some bad blood or something. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Alright, we're good. Turkey OP. Okay. I don't think we freeze tier 1s yet. do throw in a deer. Now we can freeze tier 1s? Holy tier 1s. Okay, great. You're gonna summon 3, you're gonna summon 1. We'll throw the deer up front. We won't, we won't. Alright, we got a couple wasp hits there. Again, all we need is a donut and we're cooking. I don't know why it's so difficult to get donuts. Anything? There's the donut. Thank you. Finally. So now you're gonna get 12 health. See, now we're gonna speed run getting this wasp leveled, and we can get actually get rid of the moose for some summons. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. You guys running an albatross with no snipes. Ambitious. Alright, and then we're gonna go Yggdrasil. Probably on the deer. Well, realistically, we want on the wasp eventually, but obviously that can't happen right now. Spent all this time looking for the for the donut just to get rid of it. Nah. Now we're finding donuts. Another Yggdrasil. And yet, a we'll steak on you. Okay, so you, I think we're gonna get rid of the moose next turn. That's close enough. 50-47. He does 10 damage. Big damage. Not bad. So really the, the key here... Um, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of the moose. I mean, do we get rid of the moose? 
If we find a, a good summon, yeah, but we don't need to like immediately sell him or anything. Um, Leviathan could be interesting actually. Though we don't have room for him. We have four units that we need to keep. Yeah, so we can't do that. Who are we looking for? We need summons. Any good summons out there? Not really. I'm not seeing a whole lot. Let's do this. The moose can at least get you to 50. We can put some Yggdrasil fruit on the wasp once we find some. You guys running summon build without any summons? That's ambitious. We do need to find this turkey too. He's <laughs> he's edging us out here. Perfect. Okay. All right, good summons, please. Do you care about getting a slime level? That's a, that's a question. Probably not. I don't know why he still have the moose. <laughs> I feel like we could have gotten literally any summon and it would have been better. But hey, we're here. We're doing it. And one more to go. We get the Yggdrasil for our wasp. That's huge. And maybe we just do a little bit of this. Get a Niala in here. Level up our deer, call it a day. You know, maybe that's just the way to do it. Sorry, brother. Our turkey is higher level than yours. <laughs> Therefore, we win. <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, summons, I can't say it's that exciting, but I figure we gotta check out the build anyways, right? This is just like a clean, if you want a low pace, just chill, <laughs> whatever game. Get an early slime, get a few summons. Wasp is low key very good. If you just give him like a teensy bit of attack and get him to an early level two, by the time you're level like, or tier three or four, I mean, he just gets 50 attack for free, basically. Definitely check it out. We can start Chinchilla. Honestly, okay, I'm not huge on Sneaky Egg, just because you can't scale it, but given the op options in Tier 1, I think it's okay. It also is a kind of counter to Barghast if we toss it in the back here. Um, I mean, Zack is so cool. You're not even trying there, brother. You're just simply not trying hard enough. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think he's going for the dub on that one. Another sneaky egg. We got some pretty shoddy options. We're gonna bookend our team with some sneaky eggs. Just in case that happens to do anything, you know? Aw, oh, that's tough. Apparently bookending wasn't the strat there. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, what do we got? Bass seems good if we can find either duckling... Oh, hold on. We got Hercules beetles cooking. Okay, so we need a Hercules beetle or a chinchilla. And then Bass is going to go off. I think is the plan. Um, we have a sloth. Booyah011 running the sloth cricket bird team. I'm gonna give you just a little hint. I know I know it's working right now, but the frigate bird does not work late game. <laughs> I I'll be honest, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty confident that that one's not gonna pull you through. But, you know, just 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 a little I want you to win. I want you to get that sloth cooking. It's really early. Maybe just redirect a little. You know, you know what I'm saying? Do we run a Hercules Beetle here? I don't think so. I 
But what else do we do? Okay, well... <laughs> I think we throw the peach on here. We're looking to get rid of pretty much everyone on the team. Though it's a hard ask trying to get a, any sort of scaling. 315 swan. How does that even happen? Alright, Ouroboros. Gonna get a dub. Table for two getting loss. Alright, give me something good. Something fantastic. What the heck? This is the same thing twice. At least there's a manta raise though, right? We get two mantas. Do we just like ditch somebody or do we just stack the mantas? Because we kinda. I mean, this is a good amount of gold we're pulling here. And the stats honestly aren't that bad either. Low key, they're like kinda good. Okay, I mean, we got our big homie here. Looks like we're good. This is why we're putting stats into this Hercules beetle. If he's gonna stick around, we might as well make him strong, right? Okay, we'll do the classic side stack the same unit. And then we'll combine them later. Looking good. Definitely not going for a level 3 sneaky egg. That's like against my religion. You get a draw. Alright. I mean, there's an angle for the bison here, but I think we just run a hippo. Ooh, hold on. We get a level on the manta ray, that is huge. Okay. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I like where we're at right now. It's a crow. I mean, maybe we just like send the crow on our team. It kind of carries gold over in in a way into the next turns. See now. We're, see, look at the hippo. Look at him go. He's doing stuff. So this is kind of the idea. You get the hippo as your primary anti-summons tech and then you ultimately are gonna I think switch it out with a boar because now the hippo is trigger limited I don't think he's gonna be like the counter but if we kind of side stack a little bit we could probably get something going and right now I don't even mind just investing a bunch of scaling into these guys we're quite literally three squatting it but Another Manta is huge. I actually am kind of disappointed that none of those buffs seem to be hitting Hippo. It's a little bit sad. I guess you don't need it. Hippo's just too good. How do you have a slime turkey but the slime has no summons? <laughs> if that isn't the saddest thing I've ever seen. A level 3. Hold on. Level 3 Manta incoming. We could try a dragon. This is at least some like decent scaling here. Let me see if we can find another dragon. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'd rather keep the tier ones hanging out here. And then we can full send. Yeah, here we go. I think level two is the earliest I would ever cycle on a dragon. Anything earlier? Well that being to your level one. If you have a level one dragon, it's just way too slow. You're paying two gold for a sushi over and over again, which don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but you're missing out on a bunch of options to just, hold on, let me do this. I need to focus on my, <laughs> my tier ones. You're missing out on a lot of opportunities if you were to level up the dragon. So now we're kind of just, I think our strategy is we're going to counter summons by just having a ton of stats. I think that's going to be the play. Okay, we have a chocolate bar. Not bad, not bad. 
Oh, baby. Oh, no, baby. <laughs> we were good until the vampire bat struck. We draw, though. That's fine. Can't believe we drew perfectly against a two attack minion. Okay, so here's the tough part. We need to go bo boar eventually. I feel like we need to pivot off of this Hercules beetle. We don't need to, but I would like to. <laughs> we got eight, so everybody gets six attack. There's no better time to start pivoting than now. Especially when we have this much gold. We can make a, some pretty decent headway. Oh, baby, and we got a level three dragon. Level three plus one dragon. No, that would be too much. It actually might not be. If I didn't have these units specifically, I would consider doing multiple dragons side stacked. But there's no need to. We got our anti-summon tech right now. So this is one of those you could put in a donkey. You could put in an eggplant to pull the their last unit forward. But we don't need to do that. All we need right now is just get <laughs> way too many stats for the summons to handle. That's that, that's our strategy. Hey donkey, don't need him. We want the duckling. Okay, we found a boar. I don't actually think we need it. It's one of those, like, I would rather get stats first, primarily, and then we could kind of consider a boar. Like a boar level up. Dude, it's not even close. Only 10. What are you doing there, brother? Mm-mm-mm. Alright, now we can go. We're basically stacked out anyways. We go and cat here. Try to get the dragon leveled a little bit. They're statted. We'd be forfeiting our... Our gold e economy here, which would be a little unfortunate. This is just clean. Okay, so we basically got into the point where we can't scale much anymore. We can't scale anymore. So we're just going to kind of ride it out, I guess, for the last couple of rounds. Hopefully only a couple, otherwise we're in trouble. I think we ditched the dragon here. We can look for some cats with the Leviathan. I'm not really feeling any of these. Like, what are we even looking for right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, well that counts. If we could find more Leviathan, I'd run them. Because then we can get some big fish cooking. For now, maybe we rock a cow. I don't know, though. I think we're just looking for Leviathan right now. And you may be wondering, hey, why do you care about boar levels if you're maxed out in stats? Well, that's where the summon counter comes into play. So we go here, we clear these guys out. Well, the boar is going to regenerate six health every time he attacks. But like these slime homies, <laughs> they're doing literally nothing to him. It's even better than garlic. We do have cat opportunity here. I can't decide if I like it or not. I think we're focusing on leveling here. Because if we can level the Leviathan, we're going to get like 30-30 fish. Or what is it? 30... 33-33 30, 33 fish? Whatever they end up being. Which is probably more than a cat could level in a single turn. Okay. If we lose, we have the level 3 Leviathan for next turn. Let's see. Okay, they're 30 30s. Beautiful. Now we get the hippo going. Once the hippo gets taken out, we got the boar, <laughs> who's only taking six damage per hit here. The, the perfect way to end that was the anti summon against a full slime turkey summon team. It's a good feeling. I love it.
If you're having trouble with summons, I recommend the boar. And hippo. But the boar too. I like the boar. I think we start here with a bar guest. Double duckling? Question <laughs> mark? I don't think that's gonna end well. You know what we got last time? A little double duckling action. I'm oh, just kidding, it does end well. Because of the bar guest. Thank you very much, Mr. Barghest. I'm loving the, the buff. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Okay, we'll try this, I guess. See if this does anything for us. We're giving extra health to eggs. A hot strat. Okay, back at five. Don't have any level ups right now, unfortunately. Gazelle doesn't do anything unless we have a swan. So if we get a swan, maybe we'll consider it. What if, <laughs> and hear me out here, <laughs> What if we do a little bit of this? A little bit of the kangaroo... Um, kangaroo chain, kangaroo conga line. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> it never fails. The kangaroo conga line. Um, hmm. Here's the swan if we want it. Tell you what, get rid of you. Since you have no summons anyways, you're not gonna actually summon anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold you, hold you. That is beautiful. Two level ups for tier fours. Ooh, he does not summon anything. That's promising. You get a draw, that's fine. I'll take a draw. I hope you can hear the puppy in the back. He's a little much. <laughs> uh, I think this is another manta ray angle, if I ever seen one. We can get rid of you. I'm gonna try switching it up a little bit though. We're gonna go like this. And I have good reason for it. Don't be afraid. Go here. Oh, that 10 10 is gonna hurt. <laughs> this guy's gonna hurt. Is real dragon secretly OP? Maybe. Go here. I mean, let's roll. I don't have any cell friends. Take a yak. At least it does something. At least it's a little bit of scaling. Kangaroo's kind of popping off here, but it doesn't matter because they have a hippo that's off limits. That's not even fair. Roman? I take your hippo and raise a hippo. How do you like them apples? <laughs> um, Let's do this so we're more likely to win here. And then we'll throw in a kangaroo level up. Probably next turn, to be honest. And we're good. The hippo gets us there. I'm a fan of the hippo changes. I think it's solid. So here's what I think we do. I think we ditch the tropical fish. Do a little zebra buy-sell. 
And we're going to start doing something like this. Now, we still don't have any cell pets. That's a tad unfortunate. Hold the porridge. Straight up, I think we just give you a sausage. We care more about gold efficiency, I think, in this weekly than anything else. And it's paying off. This guy also cares about gold efficiency. This guy's stacking swans like it's his day job. And I'm here for it. Uh, nice and easy man to level up. Always gonna take that. There's the boar. I think we're gonna run a boar. Right here. We could throw in a macaque, to be honest. Is that better than a hippo? Considering we're forest squatting, I'm gonna say probably. In which case, I think we do this. But now the macaque is gonna th push himself forward, I think is how it works. And then some of the 12 12 behind him. Nope, just kidding. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Couldn't tell ya. Alright. Get some rolls in here. I don't know if we're like full sending macaque here. I think Moose is actually pretty darn good. So much so that I think we just run it. Because if we can get Moose with a boar, we're going to be really well off. Okay, yeah. See if we can get the Moose leveled up here a little bit. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, a triple. Um... Since we have two duplicates, I'm thinking maybe we just roll to get rid of the one, the tier one. What sticks health when you could instead get two duplicates? You know what I'm saying? We draw. We'll take it. We take those. Okay, so now we go here, here. And we're rolling for tier 1s. As many tier 1s as we can find. This is actually fantastic. <laughs> there is the Leviathan, but I think I like where we're sitting right here. We could ditch the Kangaroo for a Leviathan. He does go after the Moose, and it is extra economy. Ooh, that's tough. I think... Let's try it. Let's try it. It might be a bad idea, but we'll try it. Because the idea here is that the moose is going to scale up everybody, the manta ray is going to go off, and the man and then the leviathan. So it's basically you just don't have to... you don't have to force squat it. Which there's something to be said about not having a four squad. And we can get some levels on the Leviathan. I think there's something there. And then you get two gold for, for free, which is always nice. Um, sure. Roll me. Anything good. I think we're really just looking for tier ones right now. Grab you. I think we do this. Oh, baby. Oh, why the heck did we do that? Because <laughs> we can't breathe it. That was silly of me. We, they need to change the moose so that it only triggers on the, the shop pets and not unfreeze and roll the entire shop. I think that would make it much more pleasant. <laughs> yeah, your big old cat squad ain't gonna cut it, brother. It'll get a draw. It'll keep you alive. But that's about it. 
All right. Keep going. Seems pretty good. <laughs> Is it too early to do this? We have 13 gold to spare. I think we're looking for levels or something, right? I think now we can start looking. They still end with a full team of, or a full shop of five tier ones. And we didn't have to sacrifice anything. Okay, so <laughs> we kind of have to get rid of the moose here, don't we? <laughs> He's not doing anything anymore. How curious. But yeah, this is what I was picturing. You get the moose with the boar and it's an unstoppable combo. We go here. Oh, because it, well, there's no lollipop, so the sleep near doesn't work well with the moose. Otherwise, this would be fantastic. I don't know what the best play is here. Deal three extra damage on abilities? Who does that even apply to? Well, now that the ability function has changed, it should apply to like the bus with its chili, in theory. <laughs> There's like no good pet to run right now. <laughs> it's so weird. I mean, we could run a slave near and just like try to get him stacked up or something. Get rid of the moose. Give you that. Like, I don't know how to make our team better from here. We're gonna get Leviathan fish every now and again, which is... <laughs> two, two attack per turn. But I mean, it's working, right? We're getting it done. It's just how the heck are we scaling here? Okay. Um, maybe the Slypnir isn't the play. Maybe we just try to get some more fish? I don't know. We go here. Let's all in on the fish. The fish have more attack than any of our other guys, so we might as well. <laughs> Okay. This just feels like such a low power level weekly. I don't know if that's just me. It just doesn't feel like we're doing much of anything. I will sell this fish. We have like an exorbitant amount of money. We don't really have anything to use it on. Maybe we try to get cats going? I don't know. We'll level you just for fun. If we find another cat, no, no cat. <laughs> I think we just see it through at this point, right? The issue with the cat is you can't buy sell a cat really. The mantra doesn't work anymore. Our Leviathan got too big. Boar's just kind of doing his thing. <laughs> He's just going. Just letting the boar do his thing. Beautiful stuff. Um, do we ever... <laughs> this is gonna seem insane. Do we ever get rid of Manta Ray now? Honestly, I think we might. We're gonna get more scaling off of the Leviathan. 
We can go eat me cake here. That's really the only way that we're going to get any sort of attack scaling. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the way to do it. As weird as this is. And we'll just cycle this fish every turn, I guess. Alright, does the turkey get it done? It gets a draw, for what that's worth. Big hit. We get one more good food. Honestly, eat me cake is kind of legit here, right? Eat me cake with the cat. Kind of, kind of awesome. I'm thinking we want to like front run one of our fish. Just in case they have like a big wasp or something, you know? Is just tragic. I right, take it back. We do not want to front run. Okay, now we can. Now we can front run. I cannot believe that just happened. It was such a close. Oh, go there. You want to eat me cake here? Put it on... Put it on you. Hold the zebra. Sorry, zebra. For the cultured ones in the room. <laughs> I don't know how to make this stronger. Somebody help. I mean, I just keep buy selling zebras like it's going to do something. Maybe it will. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would. Hopefully the fish gets hit here so he gets to 50 attack. Fish and Leviathan, I think, are the two ones we want this fish to hit. We got one of them. It is kind of weird that he doesn't get the level 2 upgrade. Isn't that strange? Please make it end. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. Oh man. I mean, we don't really want the broccoli. So, I think we run it like this. Yeah, I hate to see it. That was the longest game ever. So maybe I guess we should have eventually gotten the slip near. It would have worked well. I didn't think it was going to go that long. I did not think we were going to last that long, but it is a grueling kind of weekly, isn't it?